All right, so uh, this is the update on my Tesla coil. Um, I've got my stun gun that I made with a $2 boost converter hooked up here. Um, you can check my previous video to see what's inside of it. But basically, if you power it, this wire is just you know lead I was using for tuning it. It goes to nothing. Um, but light up other stuff. I don't know see if I'll hear it light up. But um, I've got these extra leads here that I was using to hook up a capacitor with because on the circuit it says you should have a capacitor on there but um, I use I tried using those and a couple of these other high voltage capacitors and some of these in series and Seems like uh, I get the best results without one. I'm not sure if there's a capacitor in the boost converter. I think there is actually because I touched it within a short amount of time after using it and got a little shock one time. Um, but anyways, this uh, the secondary coil, it will work without being hooked up to ground. But if you hook it up to ground, and as you can see that goes in the bottom plug there. If you hook it up to ground, it definitely works a hell of a lot better. Like if I unhook it, you won't even get any arcs at all. Well, it wasn't arcing before. Now it looks stupid. Okay. But you definitely get better results. And I use the bare wire here. Um, it's 14 gauge for the primary, so I could adjust it and tune it. Um, but so far I've gotten the best arcs at the, at the highest amount of turns. So I think I'm just going to make another primary that has more turns. The only problem is I can't get two. I can't get smaller than my spark gap I have down here. Um, it's got a high voltage DC output on this. So to pulse it in, basically every time it sparks, a pulse of energy goes into the primary. And... You know, you can't have DC going into induction. It only works with AC, so. Uh, but yeah, I thought it was pretty cool, so I wanted to post an update on it. Because I thought it was cool that you could actually power a Tesla coil with a stun gun. I'm not sure how long it would work before the thing burn up. The spark gap Tesla coils definitely are louder. And I know I can adjust this here and play with the frequency. Ooh, I got a little shock from that. Oh, another thing I didn't uh, mention is the reason why this is so loose around here because the first time I did it, a regular, because of the size of this, a regular paper towel or toilet paper roll will fit right on here. But whenever I did it, I noticed that the bare wire was actually arcing through the cardboard and arcing to the secondary coil so I decided to put some space between it and that fixed it. I also put tape all around this, uh, plastic tape, so I'm not sure if that might have helped too. But pretty fun to play with and it's rechargeable.